Ever wondered what it feels like to have your money work for you, rather than you working for your money? Ah, financial freedom, that elusive state of monetary nirvana, where money is no longer a source of stress, but a tool for growth and comfort. It's a term that's often thrown around but seldom understood. Many believe that financial freedom is about amassing vast fortunes, but that's a common misconception. In reality, it's not about the size of your bank account, but about the control you have over your finances. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. Financial freedom is about resilience, choice, and knowledge. It's about not being shackled by debt, but being buoyed by regular passive income. It's about having the ability to make financial decisions that enable you to enjoy your life today, while securing your future. Let's unravel the mystery of financial freedom together, shall we? Sign number one, you live without debt. This is a significant milestone on your journey towards financial freedom. But let's be clear, not all debt is created equal. There's what we call good debt, like a mortgage or a student loan, which are investments that can increase your net worth over time. On the other hand, bad debt such as credit card debt or payday loans can be destructive to your financial health. The real freedom comes when you're not shackled by any form of debt, good or bad. Imagine a life where your paycheck is entirely yours, where every dollar earned doesn't have to be portioned off to pay off creditors. It's a life where you're free to invest, save, or spend as you wish. Living without debt doesn't mean you're completely free from financial obligations, but it does mean you're not living paycheck to paycheck, constantly stressed about money. Debt-free living is a clear sign you're on the right track. The second sign of financial freedom is a regular passive income. This, my friends, is the secret sauce to financial independence. But what exactly is passive income? In its simplest form, passive income is money you earn without actively working for it. It's the sweet spot where your money works for you rather than you working for your money. Imagine a scenario where you're sipping a refreshing drink on a beach and your bank account keeps growing. That's passive income in action. You could be sleeping, reading a book, or even traveling the world and your assets are still generating income. This could come from rental properties, royalties, investments, or even an online business. The key is to have multiple streams of passive income that can consistently bring in money. It's not about getting rich quick but rather creating sustainable wealth over time. When your income is not tied to your time, that's financial freedom. Sign number three, you have financial resilience. A key sign of reaching financial freedom is having the ability to weather financial storms, a well-padded savings account, and an emergency fund. Imagine your car breaks down or a sudden medical expense arises. Instead of panicking, you calmly handle it because you've got the funds on hand. That's financial resilience. It's like having a sturdy umbrella during a storm, providing you with protection and security. Moreover, having savings and an emergency fund gives you peace of mind. You sleep better knowing that you're prepared for life's unexpected twists and turns. In essence, financial resilience is not about how much you earn, but how you manage what you earn and how well you prepare for contingencies. It's about being ready for whatever life throws your way. Financial resilience is your safety net on the journey to financial freedom. The fourth sign of financial freedom is the freedom to choose. This is a power that extends far beyond the realm of finance. It's about having the liberty to make decisions based on what you truly want, not what you need. Consider your working life. Financial freedom means you're able to choose a job you love, rather than one that simply pays the bills. It means having the flexibility to take a sabbatical, change career paths, or even retire early if you so desire. Now think about your lifestyle. With financial freedom you can choose where and how you live. Want to spend a year traveling the world? Go for it. Dream of a beachfront property? Why not? And let's not forget about spending. Financial freedom gives you the power to spend based on desire, not necessity. Fancy that new gadget? Buy it. Crave a gourmet dinner? Enjoy it. When you have the freedom to choose, you're truly financially free. Sign number five, you're able to plan for the long term. Stepping into the realm of long-term financial planning is like getting a peek into the future. It shows a clear picture of where your money will be, say, 10, 20, or even 30 years down the line. This is where the magic of retirement planning and investment strategies come into play. Retirement planning is about more than just stashing away money. It's about understanding your financial goals, knowing your risk tolerance, and crafting a strategy that will ensure you're not just surviving, but thriving in your golden years. Investment strategies, on the other hand, require a keen understanding of the financial markets. It's about making your money work for you, 
growing steadily over time and providing you with a steady stream of income. It's a fascinating journey, one that requires patience, discipline, and a deep understanding of money. Long-term planning is a sign of financial maturity and freedom. The sixth sign of financial freedom is having financial knowledge. This isn't about being a Wall Street whiz or knowing the ins and outs of every financial product out there. It's about understanding the basics, concepts like compound interest, inflation, investment risk, and the value of diversification. You see, with financial knowledge you can make informed decisions that shape your financial future. You'll know how to grow your wealth, protect your assets, and avoid costly mistakes. It's like being your own financial advisor. Imagine not having to rely on someone else's opinion to decide where to invest your hard-earned money. Imagine the confidence that comes with understanding the financial world rather than fearing it. This knowledge doesn't just spring up overnight, it's cultivated over time, through reading, learning, and experience. Remember, it's never too late to start learning about finances. After all, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to finances. The final sign of financial freedom is peace of mind. It's that serene feeling that washes over you when you realize you're not constantly worrying about your finances. You're not losing sleep over bills or fretting about how to afford a sudden expense. Financial freedom isn't about having an unlimited amount of money, but about having enough so that money isn't a constant source of stress. This peace of mind also translates into satisfaction in life. It allows you to focus on things that truly matter, your relationships, your passions, your personal growth, and your well-being. It's about waking up in the morning knowing that your financial safety net is strong and secure. The beauty of this peace of mind is that it's not an end point, but a continuous journey. It's about making wise financial decisions, learning from the past, and planning for the future. When you have peace of mind about your finances, you've truly reached financial freedom. So, how many of these signs can you check off your list? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? If you could tick off all or most of these signs, congratulations are in order. You're well on your way to achieving financial freedom. But if you find that you're still far from checking off even a single sign, don't despair. Financial freedom isn't a destination that's reached overnight. It's a journey, and like all journeys, it starts with a single step. That's what we're here for, to help you take that first step. So, let's talk about how you can start your journey towards financial freedom. Firstly, understand where you stand financially. Take a hard look at your debts, your income, your expenses. This honest assessment is the foundation for your financial freedom journey. Next, make a plan. This could be as simple as setting aside a small percentage of your income towards an emergency fund. Or it could be as complex as planning your investments for the next decade. The important thing is to have a plan and to stick with it. Thirdly, educate yourself. Financial knowledge is power. The more you understand about money, how it works, how it grows, the better equipped you'll be to make sound financial decisions. Read books, take online courses, listen to podcasts, follow financial influencers. There's a wealth of knowledge out there waiting to be tapped. Finally, remember to be patient. Financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time to build up a financial cushion, to pay off debts, to grow your investments. But with perseverance and discipline, you'll get there. Take the first step towards your financial freedom today. Remember, it's not about the destination, but the journey. Start your journey now. Embrace the challenge, relish the journey, and one day you'll find that you've arrived at your destination, financial freedom. And that, my friends, is a destination worth striving for.